So one of the most requested features in Numbers is something called pivot tables. This is a technique used in Microsoft Excel to allow you to visualize data in different ways. And you could do that in Numbers using something called Categories prior to 2013. But then it was removed when Numbers was rewritten. But now we have it back. In version 5.2 of Numbers there is something called Smart Categories. And here is how it works. So say we have a table like this. And here it's got a product column here on the left and each row is a record in here. And they're not even sorted or anything like that. It's actually sorted by date. So you can see there's apples, there's oranges, there's bananas. It's all mixed in here. Now say we wanted to visualize things grouped together by product. You could do that using categories. One way to do it would be to select the table here, click the little reveal commands or pull down menu right there and select add category for product for this column. You could also go on the right side here put organize. Organize isn't new. Before we had it as sort and filter. Now we have category sort and filter. So under categories you can add a category and I can pick the product column. Either way it's going to get you the same place which is it's going to group together all of the different products. So you have apples, oranges, bananas, and peaches. Now you can click here to reveal all the data under this. So here are all the apples. And I can reveal oranges. I can reveal bananas and I can close them as well. So that's really handy. Now you can change this by saying instead of grouping by product let's group by date. And then it's going to put it together in months. So here we've got January, February, and March. And it depends what type of data you've got. In my example I've got product, I've got months, I've got amount, that, that kind of thing. So you've, you can group it together in all sorts of different ways. Um, I can do amount and it will do it by amount instead. I could do it by product and then I can also add another one and say by date. So now you can see I've got it here with all the apples then January, March, February are the oranges etc. So it's all grouped together. So you can easily manipulate what you've got here. Now you can do more than just visualize this you know kind of sort it because that's all it's really done so far is sort it. You can actually add some summaries here. So for instance under amount here if I click in this little special box notice it creates this special row here. It's between row 1 and 2 and it just says apples and telling you this is a group of apples. I can click here and click this little button and I can use some special functions here. I can have the total count for instance. So there's six items. Or I can say the subtotal. So it's uh, 1,120. Now notice it's the same for all of these. I can see how many oranges, peaches, and bananas there are. And it all adds up for each group. And I can do different things like I can say the average or the minimum or the maximum. Here I could do the subtotal. So I've got all of this. I could bring this in. Let's, let's do maximum there. And it gives me all this great data here that I can kind of visualize by this group. And of course you can dig down and have multiple groups as I was showing before. You can add another category by date for instance. So there is there and I could say well I want to see the subtotals for these as well. So you can see the subtotal for each month. So this is how smart categories work. They should be very useful. They fulfill most of what pivot tables would do but kind of in a really a nice numbers way where you can uh, you know, look at it using nice tables inside of sheets, inside of documents. Um, it, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, if you are looking for pivot tables and you want them to work the same way they do in Excel then this isn't going to get you there because it's going to look different. So you really should learn how to use smart categories separately and figure out how you could apply those to use with your data.